Hi there, I'm Lloyd. And I'm John, and we're from Pina Comics. As we dive into your favorite pop culture topics, we may just... Occasionally... Use language that could be considered... Globaloney? What? No, I mean... Oh, foul? Exactly. Offensive? No doubt. Uh, crass? You bet your ass! Sophisticated? What? No, no! Uh, anyways, you get it by now. It's mostly just... Gutter talk! And one more thing. Watch out for spoilers. Sometimes we drop them like trousers. You've been warned. Listen in. Welcome to the 200th episode of the Pina Comics Podcast. And today, since we are so sweet on our faithful listeners, all six of you, uh, we'll be <laughs> talking about confectionery, sweets, bonbons, in other words, candy. Y'all like candy, right? My name is Lloyd. I'm John. This is the part where we would normally tell you that we swear a lot yep. and that we spoil movies a lot. Yep. The only thing we're going to spoil tonight is our fucking appetite. Oh, <laughs> and I swore. So we did both of them right there. <laughs> This is well you got a scat. You've got yeah, the fucking well, yeah. script. I, you I thought you were Michael supposed to say, hey, man, sir, what's Long. going on? Oh, okay. okay. All right. Yeah, I was on. waiting for that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is why I don't like doing scripted things. Yeah, well, we're not Let's, scripted. We're just kind of learning. We'll do it live. We'll, 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 we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. We're doing it live. Fuck it. We're doing this live. To play him out. What does that mean? All right. Hold on. I'll write it. We'll fucking do it live. What was I going to say again? Uh... Your name is John, and the the spoiling and, and the cursing. All right, and then you just throw it over to me. That's all. Okay. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I, again, this is this is a it's a little out of the wheelhouse for me. <laughs> all right. I'm John. This is the part of the show where I would normally tell you that we swear like fucking sailors, and that we are going to spoil movies for you left and right, or comic books, or whatever. The only thing we plan on spoiling tonight is our fucking appetites, Manster. Right. Who do we got with us? Well, I'm excited to be here in this finally. What is it? Two years in the making podcast. At least two years. Two years? This, about, this episode? Yeah. yeah. We're going to do it with Motel Hell originally. January but. January of 2020. Yeah. And then uh, we had we had oh, planned more to than do... more that. Yeah. No, it was January of 2020. Okay. And uh, we plan on doing our, our top five candies, which this episode is going to be. And um, yeah. And then uh, we'd gotten all our stuff together. We were going to plan it. And then I had to cancel for personal reasons. And yeah. Then, we had a couple cancels. We had a couple cancels. And then cancels. we had COVID. COVID. COVID and fucked everything over. couldn't even come over and share candy. Yep. And I think we purposely kept this. We want to share candy in this episode as well. But I think we, I think this was also kind of like our, like the dog and the, and the carrot. Like we, we, we said, fuck it. We're not doing this until we can get back together again. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, today we have two sweethearts in the room. Uh, both previously appeared on our favorite concerts episode. We have Laura Highland, the red-haired internet stranger, <laughs> who is no longer a stranger. We no, have to say anymore. she's here in the. Not anymore. Uh, in I the, still uh, like the title though. I keep want, I watch it. You like it? All right, that, we'll keep it. <laughs> and the uh, world famous Scary Larry. What's going on, guys? Not much. Excited Chew to on. eat candy and see what else. Ready to actually get more diabetes? Yeah. <laughs> Some diet. I just want all of sugar your diabetes. Yeah, I probably should have checked check my sugar before we sat down. <laughs> well, you should probably check it after. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking. At the very least. A, Let's that's check a, it before and then after. Before Ooh, and after. That's, see what happens. Uh, I'll have to that say I did not. That be the rating scale that we use for this <laughs> That's <episode>. right. <laughs> How high up did Larry's sugar go? <laughs> I did not eat much today, just in preparation for this. Yeah, so you're, you might go hypoglycemic. I um, yeah. check everybody's Larry, sugar. Larry might go into diabetic <laughs> shock. I ate right before everybody came over, so I think I'm going to be okay. I had a hard-boiled egg. That was about it. Laura's had a couple beers, so who knows where that's going. Yeah, I had yeah. some cereal for lunch, some Cheetos, and some beers. All right. And nice. some candy, so it's a really healthy Saturday. You, yeah, I was going to say, you guys, uh, <laughs> Laura has the... Uh, has the uh, the fucking dietary needs of a uh, of a four year old boy <laughs> or Stu, our friend Stu, our friend Stu. <laughs> who is not invited because not we told pop tarts and bring, chips. We told him to bring candy. He would show up with fucking cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> Look. So so here's the episode. We're going to talk about our top five favorite candies. Now, uh, as always, two through five, whatever whatever order you want to put them in, just give us a solid one. 
<laughs> as we play along, we're, we each have candy for each other. We're going to hand them out, and we're going to do a little taste testing and, and just kind of saying what we feel about the candy at that point right then and there. I'm going to go with we're probably going to know each other's candies for the most part, but maybe we won't. Maybe something will be out there, and uh, it will really surprise us. Was there, any, was there anything else? I should have brought some Violet Crumbles. Yeah. No, though, those wouldn't make top five. Those weren't that good. Are uh, I kind of like Are them. they one of your top five? No, no, no. They're not okay. my top five. No. Nothing oh, but, about that sounds... Appetizing. Yeah, it's an Australian candy. It's yeah, not it's bad. Australian. It's not that, bad. Didn't you guys give me one of those? We probably yeah. did. Yeah. yeah, it was weird. Honeycomb, honeycomb, with dark yeah. chocolate. Didn't like it. Yeah, didn't yeah. like it. Aussie thing. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through. We're going to go five to one. Yeah, who are we going to pick to go first? I think we should let Laura go first. Yeah, ladies okay. first. Yeah, I lady. mean, like, because <laughs> this is ladies' night. Last time I was night. purposely put last. Yeah, yeah, we felt bad about that. We we uh, we talked about it and said that was the wrong thing to do. Yeah. What yeah. did we do wrong? What did you do? We we, we put Laura last. We put uh, we put baby in the corner last time. Oh, uh, you never. Put that was wrong. another episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So no one uh, no one puts baby in a corner. No, not at all. All right, my. Number five is where there's original. Where there's original. Oh, so Laura goes from from the uh, dietary needs of a four year old to the candy <laughs> likings of an eighty six year old. Yeah. <laughs> pretty no, pretty much. Laura, like... grab your grandmother a Werther's on the way in. Well, that's where it came from. Am I handing it? Oh, Grammy gave me? those to you. No, my grandmother's oh, okay. mom did. All right. Well, no, well, no, 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 <laughs> these are these are hard Werthers. Yes. Yes, they're yeah. hard. I get there are like, many know, many those. versions of Werthers. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Good. <laughs> All right, and these this has been a favorite of yours since, like, day one? Or? Yeah, my grandparents always had them in their house, and I always forget about them. Is this an original? This is an original? Because I know original. they have different flavors. Yeah, this yeah. is where there's original, okay. yeah. i got to be honest with you. It's not on my list. I've always loved these fucking things. They're, yeah, they're I, solid. That's what I'm saying. You forget about them. Yeah. You don't really think about them to go out and buy them. Like, you're not like, oh, I'm craving I like caramel right now. Yeah, me like, too. I like mm-hmm. caramel. Yeah. I look forward to getting to the point in my life. AKA the point Lloyd's in his life. Yeah. Where at all points I have a hard candy in my pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? Lloyd, I take the kids have... out for a walk and I got hard candies with me. Yeah, and of I course got... you do. Well, <laughs> you always all right, never mind. Candy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rule. It's a rule. Yep. Right. Do you know anything about the history of Werther's? No, I don't actually. They like are, they, <laughs> Holy shit, they are named after a small town of Werther. In, Werther what? In the Westphalia region of Germany. Ah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, it was introduced by August Stork, who is actually the owning owning company. Is of that S T O R C K? C K. Yeah, that's a harsh Stork. August mm-hmm. Stork. Stork. Yep. Yeah, Stork. Augustus Gloom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Originally, it was a butterscotch flavored candy. Um, is now it? they're basically all just caramel. I mean, like I don't. Is there still a the butter? I wonder if they still have butterscotch and caramel. I'm going, I I'm going cannot Laura. find them. I've been looking and looking. What are you looking for? Uh, I was looking for butterscotch flavored Werther's myself. Werther's is, is on my not list. Butterscotch what's, flavored? What's the difference? No, it is. It is caramel. caramel. It is officially called caramel hard candy. But Laura just kind of said it, and I'm going to go in with Laura on this. Isn't it pretty close to the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. The original Werther's was a butterscotch toffee hard candy. Right, but I'm saying butterscotch and caramel um, flavoring. It's slightly different. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what. Maybe there's more butter in butterscotch, but or okay. scotch. Or yeah, scotch, there could or be a little scotch. There might be neither of, of either in there. Uh, yeah, know? I feel like there's neither butter nor scotch in butter. Yeah, it's like grape nuts. It's just delicious. Mm. I call bullshit on grape nuts. Um, yeah, caramel, but they have they have the chewies as a variety of sugars melted right. yeah. down. Yeah, okay. butterscotch is butter and sugar. Butter and sugar. Oh, one, okay. One kind of sugar. Okay. So it's close. All right. It's close. They're both melted sugar, but now, Larry, you we sugar. know because we, we brought this up before. You're a culinary guy. You yep. went to school for it. Yep. You also, you know, you, you make fantastic. Larry t- shows me pictures of the stuff he makes, and it's, it's always looks great. But was that butterscotch knowledge? Was that in your head, or because you're looking at your phone right now? Was that something you pulled <laughs> off your phone? No, I already knew that. I'm trying to find if they have Werther's butterscotch anymore for Lloyd. you. Uh, I I'm looked trying to and place looked. an order for Lloyd right now. <laughs> I looked and looked, and I could not find couldn't find butterscotch it. Werther's. Although that's how they were originally created. But no, I knew, I knew. But they also the have the soft ones, mm-hmm. the it's cream cute. ones yeah. with with the like the the white cream twisted I don't like into the it. Cream. That's I don't like, like a cow tail. You kind of like the square, s- yeah, a little different ones. though. Yeah, just like the plain square. But the square, the like long rectangular square, those are. I don't mm, like it's top-notch. a different consistency mm-hmm. between the the chewiness of the candy mm-hmm. and the yeah. the ones with the white are like cow tail like cow tails yeah, have that yeah that doesn't really do yeah but that's right. not Werther's that's no cheap Laura, compared to Werther's I want to ask you this because mm-hmm. when I mentioned to you that you're you know you were coming over to do the Tusk episode uh-huh. uh, which we did a few episodes ago and then I said hey would you like to do this one with us that we and you said yes but like you were like I got to figure out my top five candies yeah now are you a candy person. 
Not really. Not I ne- really. Like, I'd never go out to buy candy. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, maybe sometimes I'll be like, okay, I could get a candy bar, but I'm never purposely going to the store to get myself some candy. Okay. It's just always something I'll eat if it's there, maybe. All right, Manster, uh, we're, gonna, we're just going clockwise here. All right. So let's go to you and find out what your number five is. Since I am next on the counterclockwise scale... Everybody want a spit bag? I'm swallowing mine. You're, you're Broke it up, <laughs> swallow. Well, that's good boy. I'm that's covering good mine boy. in Cheetos dust. So I reach into my bag, and I pilled out this here. It's called Starburst. Ah. Uh, I have three, I guess I would call them three different um, categories of candies. I got hard, I got chewy, and I got candy bars. Okay. That's just where, where it ended up. Here it is, Starburst. Starburst is a fruit chew, if I'm it's not a, it's mistaken. It's a fruit chew uh, made by Mars. Uh, it was produced in the UK originally in 1960. That's called Australian. Opal Fruits. <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. Opal Fruits. Are you guys ever hear of that? No. no. Opal Fruits, no. Yep, they're individually wrapped, one inch by one inch by three eighths of an inch thick. Wait, should uh, we have given the measurements of the Werther's candy? I, no, I don't no. know yeah. what those are. Well, no. You didn't fucking measure them? <laughs> no. I didn't measure them or have their history. I'm you, be, I'm anybody gonna, know the original what flavors? Is this, amateur hour? The original flavors of Starburst were, um, I think, cherry. Um, That's the red. You're right? already wrong. Already wrong. Okay, then, <laughs> then give us the original flavors. Strawberry. Yep. And this is in the correct order of what's good. No. <laughs> Strawberry, <laughs> lemon, orange, and lime. Hmm. Yeah, lime was discontinued. Um, That's a shame. I love lime. It I replaced love lime with too. cherry. Yeah. 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 Now it's not a shame because cherry is the best Starburst. It is by far. Mm-hmm. And right. we've talked about this on the show many times. Yeah. And. Part of the reason that uh, that we've talked about Starburst so much is that on one episode, somebody, I think it was Holly Gofrightly, was the first person to talk about Starburst with us, or, or I don't remember who it was, but that came out and said that here pink was the best. I have a pink here. I, here's I want a all pink. the rest. Can I have a pink? Because I, I haven't had a pink since a we've pink. talked about this, and I'm just going straight up with here, pink being the best. It's, all there. it's like not yellow. true. Yellow. Lemon. Like it was all very good. yellow. Mm-hmm. Everything's a song to me. I don't know if you've noticed that yet. Oh, me too. I do that all the time. So, so I don't know these what, were uh, I don't know introduced. What a pink tastes like oh, well, they're they're very delicious. Are they? I love You've the never pink. had Starburst. Before? I'm not. I have. I'm just not a because it's like got you, like a weird a chemically person. chewy yeah. thing. But I don't know. I dig it. I like Starburst. Mm. All right, look. Oh, I haven't had Starburst in so long. I'm, I'm eating a pink Starburst, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Okay. It's it's good. Okay. It's just there's compared to cherry. Again, I've said this before. I know what a cherry one. The cherry is. one punches your fucking teeth right the fucking with flavor. Yeah. Hey, motherfucker! I'm a cherry starburst, <laughs> and I'm in your fucking mouth. And I don't disagree. Right. I don't cavities. disagree. Fuck them. The I pink still one, like the pink. Yeah, it's essentially just like like a lightly flavored starburst. Mm-hmm. That, uh, agree? Mm-hmm. Oh, done. Larry's spitting <laughs> it out. I'm done. I'm done with that one. Uh, that was the pink one. Oh, yeah. There. Hey, by the way, all you people out there who listen to Piney Comics and our, uh, what do they call that, a- ASMR? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we, we might get a few more people masturbating to the episode this week. That's fine. With the oh, wow. ASMR of us Wait, chewing. Do people do that? To the mic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> num, num. Well, as of 2010, you can, you can uh, 2010, to voice anytime. strawberry was the most popular flavor in the UK anyway. I feel like that's Wow, that's show. fucking UK. Strawberry, right? well, no, listen, because there are a lot of people. We've, we've actually asked people on the show. And I found this out recently. Strawberry is the only one that has its own bag. So you can go get a bag of nothing but strawberry. Cherry? Nope. Yep. Orange? Nope. Lemon? Nope. I wish, I wish I remember what Jen's favorite one was. She's going to get mad at me if I ask her. Because so I'm these things actually, they're 40% <laughs> the sugar, but they do anyway. contain 15% fruit juice. So yeah, that's why you, that's why you're getting that fruity flavor in there. Mm. There's definitely fruity flavor. It's I don't a good know flavor. If, yeah, but I don't know if I'm getting like. What did you just have? A strawberry. Lemon. Okay, like that's lemonier than than that's lemony. Yeah. Strawberry is not strawberry. Okay. Lemony fresh. Right? Well, that's why I chose the lemon because I knew I was going to enjoy it. Yeah, lemon. Like if you have a lemon candy, right? Mm-hmm. And by by far, lemon heads are the best lemon candy. Yes. Yeah. It it translates. You know, it's less sour, but it translates. Oh yeah. Uh huh. But as we've talked about before on things. Grape does not translate. Grape no. should just be called purple. Strawberry does not always translate, right? Even cherry, which are great, does not taste like a fucking cherry. Or apple. I hate... Apple sometimes I does. I hate the, fake, the taste of fake apple. I think it's... Except for Jolly Ranchers. Just, no, well, that's good. green apple, but here... Yeah, yeah. No, well, green apple... Yeah, green, green apple is the fake apple flavor, and I think it's disgusting. Okay, let me ask you this, though, because this is something I think has a fantastic apple flavor. Okay. Snapple apple. 
It's what like drinking a Macintosh apple. Isn't that just? Apple I don't juice? think I've ever had that. No, it's it's got an apple juice flavor, but there's something sharper about it. Huh. Try it next time. I, you're at, I honestly don't think I've ever had it. I th- would think it's just apple juice. Next time you're at a gas station, because we all know that's where you get Snapple, mm-hmm. uh, get yourself a Snapple apple. Okay. I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. Larry, what is your number five? I don't want to forget this joke real quick, by the way, because we joked about Stu a little bit earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Stu, on his old podcast, Goes to the Stratosphere, they did this, okay, l- like last year. They did their top ten candies. And I just want to point this out. Stu, I love you. I know you're listening. Stu has ho-hos on his That's candy. Not a candy. That's, That's a snack candy. cake. It's a snack cake. Snack cake. It's closer and, to a pastry. Okay. I, I kind of wanted to get everybody's feeling. I mean, I that. wouldn't even include, say, Raisinets and Goobers, because that's not a candy to me. It's oh, those more are of a, candies. It's They're a, definitely candy. It's a... Yeah, but it it's a movie snack. What the fuck is that? That's a candy. It's not a candy. Candy is movie ba- snacks. Back, to, movie back snack. to Larry. Well, what is... Larry has something I've never seen, or maybe... Oh, God. Oh, is that... I know what that is. These These little guys... These are little potatoes, okay, but they're actually marzipan. Oh, okay. Marzipan's one of my, obviously one of my favorites. That's why they're here. Give you a little backstory before I let you take one. Sure. Uh, although it is believed to have been introduced to Eastern Europe through the Turks, uh, there is some dispute between Hungary and Italy over its origin. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I think it's mainly German. That's, that's where it come from as far as I knew. It's an almond paste, which you would usually see uh, molded into fruit shapes and painted to look like fruits, but yet they don't taste anything like fruits. They always taste like almonds. That's what they're so is it, but is this one you're giving us? German. Like a specific brand that you're particularly fond of? They're all pretty much, I mean, so, no, some are better than others. This is one of the ones I find to have uh, the best almond flavor. Okay. okay. All right. What, what is this one called? Uh, marzipan. Oh, okay. Uh, Niederjürgen uh, Kartoffeln Marzipan. All right. I'm sure I brought you that. <laughs> no, that your accent. Did that wonderful. sound perfect? Right? Thank you. <laughs> and look at it. It looks like a little potato. It, it, <laughs> this literally looks like. Now we did recently. Yeah, I gotta um, have this. We did on a live stream. We did our top ten uh, fast food restaurants, and nine of Larry's were places no one's ever heard of before. <laughs> and I'm not surprised that he comes oh. up with this. But let's. It's like it. almond paste. That's what marzipan is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good, and it's not like too sweet or anything like that. Nope. Hmm. That's subtle. That's very subtle. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this a lot, actually. This is very nice. Yeah, I wish I had uh, had mm-hmm. these before. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I would. Oh yeah. I don't see me buying a bag. I'm of sure these. I've had this at some point, like on my grandma's tray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I probably didn't know what I was eating. See, I'd be more prone to hmm. buy a bag of something like this than a candy bar. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Because mm-hmm. okay. it's a little savory, you know. Yeah. Nutty. If you will. When you say savory, I just think. Well, I'm calling Audible on my next one. Clamato. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, let me bring this up and real Just quick. to let you know, though, real quick, in some countries, the marzipan is shaped into small figures of animals as a traditional treat for New Year's Day or Christmas. Oh, oh. that's nice. <laughs> yeah. That's very nice. I-, I wanted to bring this up real quick. So kind of a running joke. Uh, I don't know how, but I found out that Laura um, likes Clamato. <laughs> Uh, Which is clam and tomato juice. You yeah. had to explain to me that what this was. So I, I think in talking to Laura about doing this episode, somehow Clamato got brought up. It was a joke. And Larry said, who are we doing the episode with? I said, Laura. And somehow I said something about Clamato. I said, you know, she's probably going to have Clamato on her list. And Larry's like, what's that? He's like, he's like, is that like a tomato juice? And I'm like, clam tomato. And I blew his fucking mind. <laughs> and then I had to explain to Larry that chiladas exist. And chilada. What's a chilada? Chilada. Oh, okay. That I don't know. They actually, in some of the... Well, sit back, Lloyd. In some of the liquor stores around here, because there's a a pretty high uh, Mexican uh, in this community, a high high, uh, Mexican community in this community, I guess, however you want to put it. And that's a big drink um, amongst them. Chilada. Budweiser makes one. It's it's half... It's like a can of Budweiser. Half beer, half Clamato. Oh. Yeah. It's so good. So it's beer, tomato, tomato and and clam. (laughs) <laughs> or, well, when you put it that way, Larry. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm out. Mm. I don't think I'm all out. of them have the clam in it, though. Oh, well, like well, clamata. I mean, chalada. Cl- yeah. Maybe. Okay, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just they're just very savory. Where delicious. do you like? Where do you get off? Like, you know, <laughs> where, where do you get where off? The fuck do you <laughs> get <laughs> off? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I'm trying to without saying it. I don't know your age, but I mean, I'm going to say you're maybe like late 20s, early 30s. I'm 34. 34. Where, why Why do you drink Clamato? Like, I don't drink Clamato. It's not is something. it in your fridge right now? No, it's not. Okay. Well, she's moving. Would it be in your fridge normally? No, I don't <laughs> currently 
own any Clamato. Okay. My mom owns multiple bottles at any given time, though, and that's where it comes from. My mom likes Bloody Marys. I was going to say, does she mix it? And yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. It's not like a straight drink I have with dinner or something. That's what I'm <laughs> my, my grandfather used to mix drink. Mix it with some vodka, put my a grandfather celery yeah. stick put, in there, a little I Tabasco. You're good. Radish. Yeah, like there's other stuff that I drink with the Clamato, but. I like My grandfather used to drink clam juice. Like, I love yeah. Bloody Marys. Bloody yeah. Marys. Oh, that, oh, God, that's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> See, I drink, I, I drink uh, tomato juice once in a while. I just like a tomato juice once in a while. It's but not like it's... When you add I like the clam, V8, but it's so salty. It is salty. Oh, that's why I but, like it. Yeah. I like the saltiness of it. So yeah. fucking bizarre. Mm-hmm. All right, my turn. <laughs> I, I just I wanted to bring that up because when I mentioned uh, Clamato, Larry, like, I, I certain people in my life, I, I find know a lot about a lot mm-hmm. and I find that like I can't ever tell Larry something he didn't know before so <laughs> yeah. when I do slide one past him I always feel like like holy shit he doesn't know what Clamato is oh my god he doesn't know what Chilada is like, let's, let's I know, hold this over his head yeah, not hold it over his head just like I, I know something he didn't know alright the whole fucking thing was like a awakening like a rude like a awakening fever dream All right, well, okay. clams so, and tomatoes oh to, yeah to go back Jen's favorite starburst is orange okay good okay she saves herself on that one. All right. You know, here's the thing. When we did this, uh, plan this episode out a year ago, uh, the two times, I had like a whole sheet with all the history and everything. And in the ensuing week that we uh, plan on doing this, I didn't write any of that down. So yeah. I'm going to be the unprepared guy here other uh. than just like the candy stuff. But here's my number five. <clears throat> and it is a candy. And it is also my go-to movie snack. Oh, okay. Okay. There's I candies I like more. Let me, let me guess. Yeah. Uh, is it a non pareil no, no, no. I do like non perils and honestly, uh, I don't know if she does much anymore. Lindsay, my wife, would always get those when we go to the movies. Yeah. No. I don't get candy when I go to the movies, but if I do, that's – historically, when I was a kid, that's – That's what you that's had uh, at the last one. Right. Yeah. I saw them in the fucking thing. I was like, John, you got to give me those <laughs> snow caps. And these two here – so this candy here has pretty much a twin brother that I would also include – on the list, but I'm, I feel these ones slightly more. I got it. So we're going to go with the big old boxes of Goobers. Yeah. Goobers. All right. Goobers for everybody. Thank you, sir. Oh, Chocolate-covered Goober. peanuts. I wish I would have. Yeah. There you go. Chocolate-covered peanuts. Uh, I would also say that on some days I will get the Raisinets. I love Raisinets as well. And that's a big fuck you to our friends at Robert Barron's Inc. Yep. Who, uh, who all hate raisins and make fun of us oh, for being a pro-raisin podcast. Raisins are fucking delicious. So we, I have a fight with uh, with um, the guys over at Robert Barron's all the time. Sal is the main one. Um, about uh, he hates raisins, but he loves olives. I, I wouldn't eat no, olives no, if, if I had to. Fuck yeah. off. I love both of them. No, yeah. I'm not going to eat. Oh, no, I love olives. Oh, I want to put them all on my fingers. I, I like oh, them both. I have so. literally opened cans of olives and snacked out of the cans. Yeah, so my dog. yeah I do that. Yeah. So I've done dog. it. It's good. All right. I told Jen that she's redeemed herself with the orange. I said I, I, said I told him that I thought you're favorite was pink and of course her answer is you don't even know me <laughs> <laughs> i knew it was coming look i got the i got the goober in my mouth these are the only ones i didn't take the pre-wrapping off of um just fantastic but goobers are great uh the only reason i didn't put them is because i only eat them at the movie theater so i don't understand why that doesn't make it i don't know it's just my <laughs> fucked up brain <laughs> <laughs> like candy is based on the location in which just, you eat it <laughs> just my brain that's all yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Nope, not a big fan. Uh, whatever. Oh, Would you I be? Like these. I don't like peanuts that much. Mm. Oh, I love peanuts. Least favorite nut. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Hmm. They're just whatever. My least favorite nut's the cashew. Oh no no, I love cashews. I, hate cashews. I know whenever I'm with John and we're at the Strand, I can always buy a box of goobers or a box of raisinets, and we're both happy. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No matter what. If Lloyd comes back with both, we're not going to fight over it. Because sure. again, Robert Barron's saying you're cor- you're incorrect about this, but a raisinet. Instead of getting that nice peanut taste on the inside, you get that soft little raisin. Do you ever mix mm-hmm. them? Do you mix? Oh. Oh, that's a great mix. Not only mix, but we talked about this on a podcast the prior. I saw this on a Food Network show one time, mm-hmm. and I used to do this at the theaters, but I stopped because it's way too messy. You go up, you get your popcorn, mm-hmm. right? You have them fill it halfway. You dump the goobers in it, popcorn on top, mix it around. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the only problem is that like halfway through the movie... You've got this fucking like slime chocolate butter hand, big wide that yeah. you know, and, and you know you might not want to get up to the bathroom, yeah. but you got this nasty fucking hand. Yeah. So, but yeah, very good. And you could do it with raisin nets as well. You could probably do it with anything, non perials, uh, snow snow caps, all that yep. stuff. I don't like any shit in my popcorn. No, yeah, uh, I like a mix. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess it depends. 
All right, Laura, what's your number four? All right, well, since we're uh, on the topic of it, I might bring it out. So Clamato. I got, I got Raisinets. Oh, oh yeah. I thought, I thought the Clamato was coming out. I, I should have just bought a bottle of Clamato <laughs> with me. It's a candy, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Just put sugar Next time in you it. come, Laura, bring a bottle of Clamato and we'll do Clamato shots. I'm just going to keep Clamato in my car. Okay. Just well, so yeah. I don't I have know. it all the time. Nice and so warm, it's, it's warm. sounds I was going to say, that it's sounds like it's going to turn. Summer. It sounds like it's going to turn. <laughs> but, so yeah, I I only bought one box of raisinets. It's fine. So no, I'm no. It, it's fine. But it's yeah, fine. my whole thing for picking this is, is when I was younger, I used to pour my box of raisinets in my popcorn at the movies. But what I used to do is I would eat the top quarter layer of the popcorn. Mm -hmm. So like with the paper bag, you can grip it and like hold it. So there's space and then you put the raisinets in and then you shake the bag. Okay. So then you get like an even distribution. Okay. So I like how Laura sounds yeah, scientific. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have a whole. Yeah. <laughs> there's a chalkboard. <laughs> My favorite food in the entire world is movie popcorn. So I have like a whole. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck That's yeah. right. <laughs> Over anything else. But wait, what are those one dollar bags at Family Dollar? Oh, um, yeah, that is some good yeah. movie popcorn. Uh, I can't remember the. Uh, I can't remember the name. Of it. I can't remember either. It's fantastic. It's a big yes. long tube, and yeah, oh, it's so mm -hmm. good. It's a guy's name, I think. Orville Redenbacher. No, no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, only, it's one dollar for <laughs> like ten pounds. <laughs> Ever heard of Mr. Orville? <laughs> now, see right there. You know what it is? The king of popcorn. It's 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 the immediate familiarity of the goober, but the texture is a hundred percent different. Yeah, it's soft. A good Juxtaposition. You go right into it. Of the two. That chocolate is is pretty close to the same. I like this better. You like the raisinette better. Mm -hmm. I do. Oh yeah. Let's go around real quick. I don't know that I've ever had a raisinette. Let's go around real quick. Larry, raisinette or goober raisinette? Yeah. Lloyd, mm, I typically go raisinette. Laura, I'm gonna go raisinette too. You brought the raisinette. I'm going goober. Okay. But raisinettes are pretty fucking good. Yeah. Pretty uh, fucking good. All right. Again, I can't mention this enough. I know Rob uh, Horror News Network. Yep. Loves both of them. Okay, he's, he's a big a fan. Big fan of goobers and raisinets. Mm. I wonder if he's got a favorite, like a number one. I'll text him and I'll let you text know. Text him. You don't get a lot of raisins in your chocolate unless you're talking raisinets mm -hmm. and or chunky. Chunkies, yeah. My mom's favorite candy in the world is chunky. She used to like secretly keep it in the refrigerator at home, and mm. we weren't allowed. I to almost got chunkies for today. <laughs> All right, man. They still make chunkies. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. dude. I haven't seen a chunky. Yeah, no, I get them at Five Below. There's actually a pretty funny Family Guy episode where uh, Stewie's joking about Chunkies uh, being like, uh, did they still make them? Or, or so, I can't remember what it was, but he's like, oh, a Chunky bar. <laughs> All right, what's number four? Well, I wish my uh, brain didn't limit me to non-movie non, non -movie snacks. But anyway, <laughs> my next one's going to be my final offering of the Chewy variety, and it's mm. I wish I had remembered Lemonheads, but I picked the Sour Patch Kids. Well, Lemonheads aren't Chewy. Lemonheads are hard well, as fuck. Well, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But I still, for the sourness... So I got Sour Patch Kids here. I also have a watermelon-only flavor, mm. which is a good flavor, but they're way more chewy. And, Sour, and Owen not, had, not Owen as had good. those at the uh, movies the other day. Yeah. The watermelon. Sour Patch so, Kids are fucking incredible. So it's a soft candy coating. I'll take one, but I hate it. With it's got invert life. sugar. Ever hear of invert sugar? No. No. Yeah, uh, that, it's just made it, um, to re retain the moisture better, and so it doesn't crystallize. Larry is not a fan. <laughs> Not uh, good, huh? I hate sour. Oh, You're so good. Like I love sour. I hate, I hate sour so much. Oh. It's got the tagline, sour then sweet. Oh. And then sour, sweet, gone. Great commercials, too. Oh, yeah. With that little, gone. like, the little dude mm -hmm. that will, like, do something crazy to you and then hug your leg. Um, yep. I love that. As much as you hate it, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. I love it so uh, much. Oh, isn't that so it good? It was originally called, originally called Mars Men. Oh. In the 1970s, um, and then they, you know, 85, they changed the Sour, <laughs> sour Patch Kids to capitalize on the Cabbage Patch Kids craze. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, as far as I know, the only <laughs> the only candy that had a video game made about it. Yeah, it's called World Gone Sour, 2011 video game oh, um, published by Capcom, which is a very popular. Well, I know if, if I ever... Fighter. Street yeah. Fighter. If, uh, if I ever end up in a Silence of the Lambs situation where I've got Larry in a well in my basement <laughs> and I want to torment him, mm, I'm just so going to put Sour Patch Kids in the bucket yeah. to make him eat them to live. Eat because the he fucking. Is, is this like you had an adverse reaction? Do you hate these more than any other candy you've ever had? Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, you don't like sour at all. These are, I love this. Love them. I love lemons. I don't like. Uh, no, I don't like sour candy. I will tell you one mistake I made on these one time. Is uh, years ago, probably in my 20s, I went to the movies one time and ate a big box of these. 
my Ooh. tongue uh, uh-huh. got like fucked up for like oh, two yeah. days. Like it, like it seriously burnt my tongue. Mm-hmm. You, like, you've experienced like a, this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like it just like skin peels off of the inside it, of your mouth. Oh, that Water, is gross. Watermelon. That's delicious. Oh, there you go. Try why, that. Why not do that? <laughs> why not just peel your tongue off? Like you're I mean, that's Captain how I Crunch. feel about drinking soda. I feel like soda just hurts your mouth. I don't understand why it even It hurts looks... more than your mouth. Yeah. yeah. It's their whole body. I don't really drink soda. You shouldn't. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Watermelon flavor. I'm gonna try one of these too. Larry, would you like to try uh, watermelon? There are more. It's a it's different I consistency. Have to, I have that is to, very right? different. Yeah. yeah, it's like a different candy. I guess. Oh I, yeah. Like the the men kind of melt a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this one is just. This mint. one stays with you for oh, a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm digging that. Wow. I'm digging that. Those are good. I like these though. Larry's acting like he's going yeah. in for like a root canal. They're not nearly. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> They're not nearly as sour as the sour I, don't, I also don't like watermelon, so this, oh, oh, wow, geez. this is a double, double whammy. whammy. Well, again, much well, like we talked about, try it, Larry. much like we talked about earlier. Yeah, I do. Watermelon <laughs> flavor does not translate. Mm-mm. The watermelon flavor you get in a candy is identifiable as watermelon candy, but it's nowhere near watermelon fruit. <laughs> and it's only identified as watermelon candy because that's what they're telling you it is. Yeah. Like, that's okay. A, that's yeah. A corner. All right, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> what what other Bavarian treat do you have for us at number four? <laughs> All right, let me let me just uh, preface by saying Rob has answered. Uh, so Rob from Horror News Network does prefer goobers to raisin eggs. All right, me and Rob are on the same page. Rob also, by the way, please September eighteenth, uh, Saturday, uh, up in Naugatuck, go check out CT Horror Fest. Absolutely. Lloyd and I have a table there. We're gonna be hanging That's out right. all day. Please come out and. Uh, Laura, you're in Nogatuck. Come by that day. I yeah. know. I'll be right there. You'll be I'll right there. Down. Swing by. It's going to be awesome. His favorite candy is one I've never heard of. Peanut chews. I have heard of those. I've heard of peanut chews. Well, that's his I'm favorite. Picturing oh, it in gross, a, I'm picturing Ew. it in a yellow box. I don't remember that. I do Nothing. know what those are. Yeah, I do know what those are. Christine's is Twix, which is more uh, normal. Twix are not on my list, but they're fucking awesome. Like Twix. Twix, are, Twix are good. Yeah. I need to look up a peanut chew. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. So it's a here's the. Yes, I have seen that before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I'll try it. <clears throat> I'll try anything. All right. I mean, so it's what's, not gross. It's just like. Yeah, why? it's just it's just how yeah. Is, why? How is that? Okay. It was probably. No, I'm just insulting somebody. I don't know. Well, it, <laughs> it was probably Sorry. big in 1920. Oh, okay. And you know, it's just one of those things that like has has held a lot. All right, what do we got? Larry's always got these weird fucking mm-hmm. things. He's opening it with a pen, first oh, of all. You take that. Oh, you want me to take yeah, it? Yeah, you can have it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're sl- I'm oh. Gonna be you seem to amazing. like it. I know I what do these like are. It a lot, actually. I know what these are. If I can get it out. These were actually almost on my list. Oh, so see, I'm actually melted. very happy that they're. Are these Chico's? Chico sticks? No. But it's, it's, it's melted. I hope they're. Pocky? Oh, is it dripping? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's been, a, there's, been a, there's been an explosion. Oh, no. These are not allowed on planes. Not a joke. Oh, really? They will, well, not, not allowed. You're not supposed to bring them because they will blow up. Oh. The liquid inside. That's crazy. So, some, if, if you're feeling brave, I'm going to eat one. Yeah, I'm going to eat one. That's just yeah. over well, the cherries cherry inside, inside right? It's cherry, yeah. So, if you can take one that's not, be careful. You're going to Yeah, it's a little sticky hands. on the bottom oh. there. Yeah. What do we got, Larry? What are these? These are cherry cordials. Yep. Uh, Sellers is the brand. Uh, made in Chicago uh, by the Tootsie Roll uh, industry people. I am not a fan of that. No, oh, I love um, those so much. Originally introduced around 1864. Mm. Yeah. All right, this one's not coming out. I'm going yeah, to go one. for another one. Pick another one. These are one of my favorite things in the mm-hmm. world. Uh, usually they're not exploded <laughs> when you get them. Uh, can I get one? Yep, I can get one out. The rest of it. I mean, it's fine. I love It's them. fine. Oh. That, like, okay, so look, I'm not gonna, no, no one's lying here. Uh, I could eat, you know, a box of goobers, no problem. Finish a box of goobers, you hand me another one, I could probably eat it. That's the kind of candy that, like, one or two is, like, way too much for me. Like, like Laura, could you sit there and eat, like, the 10-pack of that? Oh, God, no, I'd no. die. Mm-hmm. But I that's also... A, you're right, it's a one. That's a, it's, it's a one shot. Mm-hmm. That's a, like, a, a, you know... It's a treat. It's a treat. <laughs> yeah, I like, the, I like the way... But, Master, how are you feeling about that one? No, I like them. I like cherry cordials. Yeah. I, lo- I love cherry. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're good. Yeah. Now, I, I can't those, eat more than... They make those other ones with the white stuff inside. Yeah. The white stuff? Yeah. There's yeah, ones like that have... creme. It, it's almost like the uh, the cream that's in like a Cadbury cream egg. Yep. Mm. Yeah. But I don't... too much I don't me. like that. The, I like the clear liquid. The ones with the cherry... Yeah. yeah. yeah I like the ch- yeah. clear cherry flavored liquid yeah. that yeah. comes Regular from... Regular classic cordial. <laughs> and yeah. what, what is the brand on that? Maybe you could eat two. 
That's about it. What's that? Do you want me to pause so you can wash your hands? Yeah, I need, I need to right. wash. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on one second. Hold on. All right. So Larry and his cherry cordial at his number four. My number four, let me dig into my bag. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. What am I going to go with? I, I, I think I'm going to go with something that's going to be offset by my number one, right? So this is going to be, this might be crazy for some people that this is at number four because it's a very popular candy. Um, and everybody loves them. I and mean, we've all had them. I'm going to hand them out anyway. Right. I know what it is. But uh, <clears throat> yep. Reese's oh. Peanut Butter Cups, all right? Uh, yep. My daughter would hug. Yeah. Right so now. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Um, yeah. I didn't pick that because I kind of figured somebody would have it. Yeah. Yep. Far and away Jalen's favorite candy. There's like not even a There's not even a, a question. Yeah. It's, it's hard for me to put them that low. Mm-hmm. But the stuff I have above, I just like that much more. I don't even know why I'm eating this. How do you not know... What a peanut butter! You don't yeah. need to. I'm even only taste eating it. this because it's a Reese's peanut butter. Cup. Same. That's what I'm doing. Because I know it's very enjoyable. And I, yeah, I don't need to eat yeah. this to talk about. But it. we had a conversation about this the other day. I don't know who this conversation was with, so um, I don't think it was any of you guys. But we were talking about candies. These are a little melty. I apologize. That's okay. But someone who I was talking to said that their least favorite part of a Reese's peanut butter cup was the serrated edges. It's my favorite. No. Okay, so it was none of you guys. No, not even, me. Okay, I've no. never even thought about That's that. That's the best. Yeah, that doesn't even Now, you know what else about Reese's? They have the King Reese's, like the giant ones. Those are not good. They don't work. Right, because they're too big. The ratio is off. And Mm -hmm. they're too, uh, the consistency is not the same. They're too hard. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You nailed it on the head. And it was actually my buddy's uh, last week at my friend's house. We were talking about this. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the style, the old school style, Mm -hmm. that come two in a pack. They're the only ones that work 100%. Mm Mm-hmm. The mini ones are pretty good, but when you get bigger, the ratio goes off. You get one of those king cups. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's wrong. It's too peanut buttery, not enough chocolate. You go to the white chocolate. How do? Okay, look. This is divisive. How do you feel about white chocolate? I like white chocolate, but it's not chocolate. Is that there's no cocoa? No cocoa. So it's not chocolate. Mm -hmm. People hate white chocolate. I Jen hates it. Jen hates it. Lloyd, do you care about white chocolate? I, I like it. It's fine. Laura. Oh, I love white chocolate. You do like white chocolate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, dark or milk, Larry? Chocolate. M- milk all day. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lloyd? I like dark chocolate. Oh, milk chocolate. Dark chocolate for yeah. me. Dark yeah. chocolate for me. Really? These are perfect, but if they were dark chocolate, they might be one step above. I mm-hmm. think they have dark chocolate. Yeah, no, I know. But it's like, I don't. But it's, it's dark milk chocolate. It's not real. Real dark, yeah. dark chocolate, yeah. Like semi-sweet, like. It's not on my list, but you know, like when you get that bag of Hershey's minis. Yeah. The what is it? Symphony special dark. Special dark. Special dark yeah. yeah. Holy We're, shit! That's yeah, like hate those that's are, what I go for. I go for those. Give me, okay give me the crackle. You hate? Ooh, give me the crackle, crackle from that bag. A crackle. crackle. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Time out. Time <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. So those bags. Yeah. Have four in them. Yeah. Regular Hershey's. Yeah. Okay. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. Whatever. Right. Now, inverse. A Hershey's with almonds is a great bar. Holy, totally different. Totally different story, right? Yeah. Crackle. Is yeah. that little fucking like crunch bar? Yeah. Throw them out. No, Fuck you. no, no. The crackles only are good. two in that bag worth their fucking their merit <laughs> are special, special dark, dark and fucking Mr. Good Bar. Mm-hmm. Oh, Matter of fact, every bad. time I have those, I think to myself, are there full size Mr. Good Bars anywhere? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jen, yeah there are. Jen probably has 304 of them. At Next all. time one of you guys sees. <laughs> A you full want some size, good bar? Can you just get me one? That's right. her. Because I don't know if I've ever that's seen one. That's her favorite candy bar. Like a can- straight candy bar, that's her favorite. Mm. So and I'll get you good. the DVD, too, and you can watch that. Yeah, looking for Mr. Watch good Mr. Bar. Good yeah. Bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Well, I just want to throw it out there. Um, yeah, Reese's. You're p- wrong about Crackle, by the way. No, yes, it's, no you're wrong. They're, they're not as good as wrong. Nestle's Crunch, but, but they're good. But Nestle's Crunch aren't good. No, Nestle's. Yeah, they are. I think Crackle is better than Nestle's Crunch. I do, too. Okay. I do, too. Hmm. We can agree to disagree. They're we the can. same thing. Okay, so. we can right. fight about. They're both good. <laughs> All right, real, real quick. This is a sidebar. This is almost like the starburst argument. The bag, the four bag. Yeah. Rate them one through four. One being your best, four being your worst. Laura, go. Uh, one best. I'd go crackle, Mister Good Bar, Hershey's, Special Dark. Wrong. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a Special Dark, Mister Good Bar, Crackle, Hershey's. Mine too. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got it right. That's, Larry. That's my order. Crackle, Hershey's, Mr. Goodbar, Special Dark. R- almost same <laughs> wrong as well. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, so while we're on Reese's, let's. There's so many other Reese's candies. Yeah. Have you guys tried them? Yeah. Like Reese's tried- Fast Break and. Oh yeah. Nutrageous. Oh. So, so Fast Break is like a bar, but it's it's chewy. It's got caramel in it. Mm-hmm. 
I could take that or leave it. I don't really no, care about No, there's no that. fast break. Fast break just has peanut butter and chocolate, I think. Mm, no, and it has nougat. a chewy bit to it. Nougat. Maybe it's nougat, yeah. but it has a chewy bit. Fuck nougat. Um, but the... Let's think hard about nougat Nutrageous is really good. The nutrageous is is like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's got it's got nuts in it. Yeah. yeah. Hence the name. Yeah. yeah. You know, nougat is one of the very few... Mm-hmm. You fucker. <laughs> nougat is... <laughs> Ted nougat is one of the very few... <laughs> yeah. Ingredients and strangle hope, and ingredients baby. in anything ever yeah. that when you were a kid they could sell you on TV and you didn't yeah. know what it was. Just say nougat. Right. Okay, I got it. Like, you know what nougat is, right? It's, I, it's the stuff. It's it's not Ooh, the stuff. It's the that's stuff. That's why I love it so much. <laughs> it's, and there's no calories. You're right. Exactly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Nougat has no calories? No. no the, the stuff. stuff. The stuff. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, nougat is what? It's essentially just like sugar and like. Basically. Well, it doesn't yeah. matter what nougat is. But what it's, it's just sugar. Nougat. And, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's corn, it's, yeah. it's corn it syrup and egg. Right. It's, it's corn nougat syrup and egg. Just egg we just have it. You get it out of a tree. It <laughs> just, you get it from a tree. That's what I'm saying. Is, is, is like years ago when you when you were a kid or you're watching like TV and they're like, you know, Snickers, you know, caramel, white, you know, chocolate, <laughs> nougat. Yeah. It's like. They could have said any word. They could have said, like, fuck spar. Yeah. And you would have been like, I love fuck spar. <laughs> but, like, you don't know what the fuck nougat is. Yeah. Like, and I it was as an adult when I learned that nougat's like a confectionery. Yeah. You know? But it's like it's like they just sell you based on that word. Yeah. You're like, fuck it. I love nougat. I don't even know what the fuck nougat is. I love nougat. For years, nobody knew what the fuck nougat was except for the candy makers. <laughs> except for Ted Nugent. And they were just fucking Ted laughing Ted. all the way to the bank. <laughs> Corn syrup and egg white. Fucking Ted. I think Ted, Ted nougat. nougat would be a really good Halloween costume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I I'm think Ted, trying to figure out how to execute it. I think Ted Nougat would be a great Ted Nugent cover band name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but all the songs are about candy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wango Kid, Tango. Kid Cat Fever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Zero bar. Yeah. The, sh- the sugar is yeah. flowing high on the pint tonight. All right, yeah. Laura, what is, your number, uh, what is your number three? My number three. <laughs> Kit Kat Fever is a good one. Um, Kit Kat Fever. <laughs> oh, that really works. Right. I'm going to take this out. Uh, Heath bars. Oh. Okay. Excellent. So, uh, in in like brownies you know, and shit like that too. Crunch them up. I think they taste incredible on mm-hmm. top of ice cream. Ice They're cream. All crunched up. One of yep. the greatest Ben and Jerry's flavors of all time, Heath mm-hmm. Bar Crunch. A trifle or yep. Death by Chocolate. Oh, I love Put them in there. A truffle. Oh. Uh, a trifle. So good. <laughs> truffles, truffles too. I put them I in the truffles. truffles. I can't talk about a trifle anymore without thinking. And I'm sorry to bring up friends, but thinking of the episode where uh, Rachel was trying to make the truffle. The trifle. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember this? No. So let me just let me just tell this real quick. Rachel's make. Rachel's not a cook, right? Monica was the cook. Rachel's like, I'm making fucking dessert for whatever holiday it was, Thanksgiving or whatever. She wanted to make a trifle. A trifle is different layers yeah. of like pudding yeah. and whipped cream and fruit, etc. Some cake sometimes. The cookbook mm-hmm. pages got stuck together. So she made half trifle, half shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> and the best is when she realizes it, everybody is fucking mortified. Except for Joey, who's just going to town yeah. on it. He's like, what? Pudding? Good. Meat? Good. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime I think of trifle now. I would I love to have a shepherd's pie trifle, though. Not with the pudding, yeah. but like just a, in a trifle dish, just yeah. layered with that. Oh, God, that Sounds awesome. good. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds good. You got the corn pie. in there. You got the mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. You got the meat. You see the layers? Mm. Now, Laura, with her choices it. so far, except for Raisinets, mm-hmm. two of her choices are pointing very much towards... The butterscotchy caramel type flavor. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, this is a toffee. This is a toffee. Right. Mm-hmm. But again, that's pretty much in the same family. Same vein. Very similar, right. yeah. Not just that. Burnt sugar. But very close to another uh, candy. What's that one called? Score. Huh. Oh, yeah. Score bar. Score bar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know think I even know that one. It's SKO. SKO. Yeah. And it's very much like a Heath bar. I think flatter, though. But much better. Mm. Is it much better? Oh, is yeah. it? Really? Yes. All right. All right. All right. I don't know. My mom just used to always get heat bars, and she used to get it on her ice cream that she ordered, and I always thought it was really fancy. So eating heath bars makes me feel fancy for some reason. <laughs> I feel fancy. And I can't really, I can't pinpoint it, because there's nothing really that fancy about it. I don't think, like, rich people eat heath bars or something. Worthington. <laughs> yeah. Pull the Jaguar to the front and get me the heath bars now. Exactly. That's kind of what I think of it. But, yeah, I just, I love, I love heath bars. I'll put them on anything. All right. That was very good. I, right. I enjoy heath bars. Yeah. Lloyd, what's your number three? Well, uh, I'm going to go with a hard candy here. And when I was a kid growing up, there was a really famous uh, commercial. And this is uh, Tootsie Roll Pops. Oh. oh. All right. Are we going to so, find out how many licks? I could tell you. I have a little story about the licks. All right. Uh, <laughs> there was a um, 
So the commercial, what? The kid goes to here. Uh, pick pick which one you want. I'm oh, taking already, red. I've already taken. You want chocolate, purple? You don't have the real red, though. Give me a purple. There's. Oh. I have. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is black cherry? No, that's, I think, probably raspberry. Oh, is it? Yeah, this yeah. is, you have the real red. You yeah. have the cherry. I actually might have a real red in my pocketbook right now. <laughs> if you don't, I will trade it. No, it's fine. You can have I have one. another one here, too. Ah. I already own The it. grape is so purple flavored. Yes. It's perfect purple flavor. Mm. I honestly, I got to be honest with you. This is like we talked about the movie Tusk a couple episodes ago. Yep. And I said how the first half was really good, and then the second half lets you down. <laughs> Having... Having the chocolate in the middle of this fucks everything up. You think? I, think, I don't think so. I think all. a blow pop is what a fucking Tootsie Roll pop should no, be. No, See, no. See, no, no. uh, oh, blow pops no, no, are no. not as good as you remember. Oh, no, no, no. I've had a blow pop within the last year, <laughs> and it's fucking good. The candy no. of a Tootsie Roll pop yeah. far exceeds the candy mm-hmm. of a blow pop. Oh, I don't know. It stays I guess. intact better. It's more solid. Like, blow pops crack and crumble so much easier than Tootsie mm-hmm. Pops do. All right, I feel, I feel attacked. Lloyd, finish your story. Yeah. Uh, so, if you all remember, Remember mm. the the commercial where the boy goes to the uh, what does he go to a cow, a fox, and a turtle, and then an owl, saying how many licks does it take to get to the center of Tootsie Roll Pop? And I think the owl came up with three, right? <laughs> there is some very very scientific studies done on this. Really? Yes. Um, <laughs> that's Larry, by the way. <laughs> so. There is a lot. I, I won't get too technical. If you want to read about it, just Google it and read about it. But based on what they call the equatorial cross-section, and whether it's one-sided licking or full-surface licking, basically, <laughs> there's lots of different like numbers. full-surface licking. The, yes, the full-surface <laughs> is the best. Um, uh, basically, it comes down to, with the global minimum distance resulted in calculated 130 plus or minus 29 licks. Plus or minus 29? Yeah. Huh, that's an interesting version. But if you do a one-sided, I'll be frank, I stopped listening like forty-five seconds. Yeah, I, well, yeah. I, 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 I know I, I, it, it's I crazy, interested. but it's it's funny to read. Wait, wait, because I, there's actually been real studies. Done I listened, on this. but are you saying twenty-nine licks would get you to the center? No, one hundred thirty. Oh, okay. Plus or minus twenty-nine, depending on your. Yeah, you know, it's plus. It has to yeah. be the size of the tongue, the surface area, yeah, the yeah. Tongue, and there's the pressure applied. Of, for the tongue against the Yeah, candy. the pressure is all kinds of things. That's why you couldn't come up with a real number. Yeah. All right. It would be impossible. Uh, these things were used in World War II. They were like popular snacks among, uh, among soldiers. Mm. I'll give it to you. The candy on this is fucking great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I still think you get to the center. That nice like fucking yep. sugary bubble gum is a better treat than a than I'm a I'm going to blow your roll. mind right now. Yeah. yeah. No matter if it's a blow pop or to see roll pop. Yeah. Once the candy's done, I throw it out. Really? Yeah. I couldn't oh. care a fuck less about bubble gum. Mm-hmm. And I don't really give a shit about a Tootsie Roll. Race. I like getting it, the the lollipop part, worn down and then crunching and then chewing it because you mix the candy. All, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's I how that I like too. it. That's, that's what I, I like. Too. But I like that. But to me, that that works better with a blow pop than a Tootsie Roll pop. See, but I don't want to keep chewing gum. I'm also not a gum chewer. Yeah. So I'm not like really Same. into it. So the Tootsie Roll goes away after a couple of bites. And all right. Anybody know what the original flavor was? Pro- what well, this was made like what 1896 or something? <laughs> Probably sarsaparilla. 1931. You're not too far off. 1931. Ex- except they, Co- they used. Oh no, it was cocaine. It was no. whiskey. Whiskey. <laughs> it was it was sarsaparilla. Except that back then they used uh, they called it sarsaparilla. <laughs> <laughs> no, the original flavor was uh, chocolate. Okay, the brown one. Yeah, that's like, actually interesting because I would think that chocolate would have been brought in later on. No, nope. because it's not really a typical no. lollipop flavor. And was it always a Tootsie Roll center? Yes. Okay. Yep. And so now you got your flavors of chocolate, raspberry, cherry, orange, and grape, plus a random rotating six color. I was going to say, oh. I've seen a lot. Yeah, there's yellow. Line. There's a yep. green, yeah. Every yellow, bag, every bag comes yellow. with like a different six color. Oh, you know how Dum Dums have mystery flavor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The mystery flavor is they, they put all of the candy in an extruder in flavor. So they have like this like 30 foot long rope of strawberry and then like a 30-foot-long rope of cream or however they do a cream soda. The mystery is when it changes over, there's that little bit of two different flavors together. That's the mystery flavor. Really? Thank you, Mark Summers, and Unwrapped. Oh, for telling I that. actually like <laughs> that. That was a good lot. show. Yeah. yeah. I used to always pick the mystery flavor, like the doctor. Used to yeah, or the bang. The, yeah, yeah, I always pick the mystery flavor. Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Your favorite dum-dum oh, flavor. That's fine. Oh, I don't know. I... I don't know. I, I, I definitely like the cream soda one. I do. Ooh, I like cream that one. Soda one is yeah. Good. yeah. Cream, cream soda is good. The blue like one. Blue. The, That's yeah. my favorite. Not the, the root beer, though. 
No, I can't drink. I can't eat root beer. Root beer, you said? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I no, like for that. me, it's the, um, what'd you say, the blue one? Yeah, the yeah, blue like one blue. and the cream soda one. Mm-hmm. It's All blue right. for me, blue raspberry. All right, Larry, number three, what do we got? I'm not done with mm. my Tootsie Roll Pop. <laughs> <laughs> We have to wait for 29 right. plus or minus licks. All right. I'm and keeping this one for throw later. this in your garbage bag, Larry? Yeah. I Thank am going to eat my Plus, they have the there. weird thing with the wrappers. Like, sometimes the wrappers have, like, an Indian on them or a Native American on them or something like that. Don't get this show shut down, Lloyd. Come on, Yeah, Lloyd. sorry. Sorry Fucking about that. Mine has a little I said, boy holding I said a Native American. All right. We are about to prove. Oh, we're proving shit now. My first oh, one. Oh, shit. Correct. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Pass it down. Oh, we got the old score bars. Pass That's it down. exciting. Thank you. All right. I, I do like a Heath bar, like I said, but I've just always found the toffee and a score. Okay. I'm open for... Score. Delicious milk chocolate slash crisp butter toffee. Here's the difference. I kind of yeah. want to hold this against a Heath bar to see how The much. Heath bar, the toffee flavor tastes a little more burnt. Maybe burnt's not the right word, but like a Starbucks coffee compared to a Dunkin' Donut mm-hmm. coffee, it just tastes more roasted, more burnt. I definitely see the difference. I do like this. This is very good. This is very good toffee. I think it's great. I know I've had both before. I've had both in the last 10 minutes. Based on trying these two right next to each other, except for this is a full-size bar and Laura brought like minis. Mm-hmm. I can't immediately go to a difference right off the mm. bat. Oh, I can. Oh, less doesn't stick in your teeth as much. Mm-hmm. I will give it that. I will give it that. I so, get a more buttery taste also. Yep. So oh, there, score bar. Ever since you were a kid, or is this just uh, um, score bar? I don't think even was out when I was a kid. I mean, last twenty years, yeah. Mm. Definitely, always definitely have been a favorite for me. Oh, Hershey. I didn't know. I thought these were like. Here we go. Score bars launched in the United States in 1981. Originally intended as competition for the Heath Bar. Blah, blah, blah. Thin, crisp, buttery slice of toffee coated in a soft layer of Hershey's chocolate. So the, the chocolate, although probably a little melty because it's hot in here, mm-hmm. is definitely softer. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a little bit softer. Okay. Uh,. So you just said that the score is covered in Hershey chocolate? Yes. The Hershey Company also makes Heath bars. Yeah, it seems it seems that it was originally uh, intended as um, competition for Heath, but then was purchased by... Uh, uh, I'm going for okay. another bite. Yeah. yeah. And I turned it around to the back to read the Hershey's thing. And because I read it fast, on the back it says delicious chilled. <laughs> yeah. But I thought it said delicious children. <laughs> delicious children. And I was like, yeah. oh, fuck, what are we eating? <laughs> We're eating really delicious children. <laughs> and I, you know which what? Which is fine. And I'm, I'm okay with yeah. it. I'm going back delicious. for bite two. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's mm. awesome. Yeah, it's good. That's really good. Good Lord. It's a candy mountain in here. Yeah, there's so much candy. <laughs> Half eaten candy. All right. Here's my number three. Jesus Christ, we're only at three? We're only at three. We're getting there. Check my fucking sugar right now. <laughs> Another simple one, right? This is a, this is a favorite. This might be considered a, a movie snack for Lloyd, um, but <laughs> <laughs> it's all reliable. Oh, I uh, love Kit Kat. Give me a break. Break me off yep. a piece of yeah. that Kit Kat bar. No, Kit Kat's Kat great. fever. <laughs> for the Ted Nugent. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Crispy wafers. Milk mm. chocolate, the gimmick of breaking off one at a time. Mm-hmm. Have you ever just eaten one like a bar before? I have. It's weird to see your bite mark across no. a Kit Kat. I would yeah. never do that. That's yeah. like pure. Don't people come and throw stones at you if you do that yeah. or something? That's villainry. That's oh. what that is. Right here. Look. Don't do it. No, oh, uh, no. Why'd you do that in front of us? Oh, that's that so looks so mean. wrong. Oh. Yeah, yeah something wrong with that. Right? You just upset everybody in this room. Right. <laughs> You just mess. I don't with the normally universe. do that, but every once in a while, I'm like, you know, what? I want to see what my sh- my fucking bite radius is like a shark, and you know, you do that, and you're like, look at that. Nobody eats Kit Kats like that. No, no, because they're, no, they're not fucking heathens. Wait, listen. We're not savages. <laughs> the chocolate, just right, and that fucking whatever that wafer is in the inside, mm. just the the fucking like mm-hmm. almost cakey flavor to it. Yeah. God damn. Mm. God damn. God damn. Yeah. I'm not going to go on forever about a Kit no, Kat. No, I love Kit Kats. All right? It's just a straight-up American fucking classic. Um, who made... Is Kit Kat Reese's? Is Kit Kat Hershey's? Hershey. Mars. Is it Hershey's? Hershey. Yeah. Mars. Actually, Kit Kats, if you ever go to... Uh, Hershey Park? Hershey Park. 
Kit Kats is one of like the height like levels. Oh, that's have. right. I should know that. I was just at Hershey Park right two years ago. Yeah, <laughs> they have. I think it's like Hershey Bar, Kit Kat, Reese's, Heath Bar. I think is actually one of them. And yeah, and it, it smells like chocolate there. Oh my is God. it fair being like a, mm-hmm. a company that makes chocolate or chocolate candies that's not like Hershey is just they're going to crush you. Uh-huh. Right, they're going to crush you. It's it just seems like like Reese's, right? Reese's at one point I believe was part of Hershey, and he he like I think he bought out of it. Um, he was I think the guy who started Reese's was one of Hershey's like original um, like proteges. Yeah, like a protege. Yeah, his and candy when, protege. And went his own way, and that worked out. But I mean, who else? Like, well, it didn't work out for long because Hershey owns them again. Hershey. Oh, does Hershey own Reese's? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, Reese's is one of the, yeah. the height requirements to get onto roller coasters. Yeah. Hershey Park. Actually, I Look, think it's actually if you it's take a the chocolate tro- monopoly, if you take the trolley yeah. at Hershey Park, they tell you the story. I think the Reese's guy came first, okay. and then Hershey went to compete against him and then ended up buying him years later. And crushed him. I fucking crush you! My crush parents you. live an hour away from Hershey Park, and I still have not gone there since they moved there. I guess I do have the COVID excuse. Yeah, but that, that's how long they've been lived there for. Uh, four years? Yeah, COVID was only a year and a half, for. So you know what? There was two years before... I'm lazy and I'm a bad daughter. <laughs> okay, all right. I like that excuse Fair better. Fair enough. All right, Laura, what's your number two? Okay, my number two. All right, so... Uh, I don't think Larry's gonna like this one. Oh, sour. I can fucking smell it coming. <laughs> it's, you know what it is? It's Sour Patch Dick. Is that Warheads? It's warheads. Oh, 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 life. oh fuck my fuck life. life. I love All right. Warheads. I'm gonna go with John and go with the red. Every time I, I have... every time I order from Fright Rags, they fucking send me these, and I'm like, come on. Mm-hmm. These are good. Actually, Yellow. I have a giant bag of these at home for some giveaways at the fucking next uh, basket case thing. So good. Oh my god. Guys. I love these. Are they still oh. really sour? I haven't had them in years. Oh, they're years, super sour. Oh, I'm my so God. I'm so excited. I don't want to do this. You're going to hate it. I'm sorry. Eat your fucking warhead. I got them before I saw your face when you ate a Sour Patch Kid. Oh. Hey, let me put it this way. If you thought the if Sour Patch Kid was sour, you this don't is, fucking know. This is like the devil's tongue yeah. or the devil's toe of sour. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh yeah. I love this so much. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this was a video yeah. podcast. <laughs> Go ahead and spit it out. Spit it out. What's happening? What's happening to me? It's still there. Wow. Did they have ones of these that foamed at one point? Was that something else? You need to wash that down with some key lime crumble. (laughs) Dude, what is that? Why was that happening? I love it. It's so good. That is on the opposite spectrum of a Werther's. That goes away after you hit the first layer. Yeah. Yeah, like, you get oh, over it quickly. Yeah, yeah, now it's just a nice, like, fruity flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now it's just a mild hard candy. They're a delightful hard candy. candy. Yeah. yeah. Did you give me a watermelon flavor, too? Um, I gave you the pink one. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely... Oh, so... Yeah, so there was no way he was going to like that. Do you want to try I, a blue? No. I don't, I don't, I don't think he was going to like any of them, Laura. Yeah, I don't think it mattered. You really would probably like it after that sour grows It actually burned... My, like an oval into my tongue. Yeah, it's, a, it's a little burning. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely was like putting a fucking nine volt battery on your tongue at first. It <laughs> yeah. was certainly. That's a good description. It was certainly not a natural flavor of any. That is terrible. What is that? Fucking turpentine? I um, just remember when Warheads came out. I was in middle school, I guess. Or not like came out, but when I became aware of Warheads. They sold them at the school store. And we could pay twenty five cents to get a warhead, and everybody just like yeah had contests to see who could keep it in their mouth the longest. I think that every yeah in school had an experience like that. Like mm-hmm. for me, when I was in school, the big thing that was like kids would buy and sell in school and trade was now and later's. Oh, yeah. now, oh and yeah, now and later's was later's. when I was in like in like fifth, sixth, seventh grade. Now and later's was like you know like oh god you you want banana like you know what I mean like because there were thousands of fucking right. flavors right. oh banana now and later's though Ugh. yeah I'm not a banana oh. fan but Fake yeah but people, I, I like people real people bananas them. banana flavor is really weird yeah bananas it's, yeah it's real creepy yeah oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> creepy is a good word yeah. to describe it yeah. the big thing when I was in school was uh, Jolt Cola. That was like the big. Oh thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people drinking fucking like six cans and just feeling their heart. Oh, we had surge. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh right, surge. Mm-hmm. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> surge. Surge. Manster, what do you got? Number two. Uh, I'm looking at my list here. I miscalculated. I'm I'm all good. But remember when I said I had Twix on my list, mm-hmm. and, but I forgot to buy the candy. Mm-hmm. So Twix is now off my list. <laughs> But you still have two more? Is that what you're saying? Right. I had three more, but now I have two more. What are you also? So my what is this? Number two. Two. 
My next last one is called a whatchamacallit. Fucking used to love whatchamacallit. Oh, yeah. So I have not had a whatchamacallit. These were big when I was a here's kid. Here's the thing. I don't even know how long. Whatchamacallit then is different from whatchamacallit now. Oh, so really? unfortunately, what you're going to get here is not as good as what you remember. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? Made from the Hershey Company from uh, 1978 uh, to 1987. It had the uh, crisp peanut butter flavoring yeah. and coated with a thin layer of chocolate. That's all it was back then. And then in 87, they added a layer of caramel. So that's what you get here. Mm. The original ones did not have that layer of caramel. That's good. And then afterwards, they replayed it like you said. They took out the cocoa powder. You can't call it chocolate anymore. So then it became chocolate coating, which is what you get now. Mm. So no longer is it chocolate, but it's chocolate coating. This oh, is as close so as you get. To like a confectionery and not a candy. So here's another thing. Uh, they also put out the thingamajig in 2009. And just this year, they have the Hoosie What's It. Oh. So I brought that for you guys to try if you want. It's not as good. It's like the crispy part is the chocolate part. Hmm. Huh. But you can you can taste on that. Is it the same that. company or is it just like another candy bar that has a funny name? No, they, it's the same company. They, they just put out different variations. Who is the company that does this? Uh, this is the Hershey Company. What the fuck? Yeah. Honestly, is there anything not made by Hershey? I fucking love whatchamacallits. Nothing in my fucking bag is from Hershey, motherfucker. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you for that. The Werther's aren't Hershey, I don't think. Oh, they are. They, it just happened. They just bought them. <laughs> okay. That's real. That's. I haven't had one of those in fucking years. Right. That's fucking. That's, that's right. world class that's, right I there. I fucking love these. It's money. Yeah. So money, you don't even know it. <laughs> Come on, we'll go see all the babies. <laughs> try, uh, try this one here. All right. Just take a little bite. So this is not in contention. This is just... um, Just came out this year. The Hoosie What's It. I'll break a piece off. Break me off a piece of that. Hoosie What's It. (laughs) Hoosie What's It. Football cream. (laughs) Poison (laughs) gas. (laughs) I love that episode. Yeah, it's a good episode. What is that? I don't know what that is. The Office. Oh, I've never watched it. One of the guys gets the uh, the, uh, Kit Kat bar song stuck in his head, but he can't remember what it is. Yeah. (laughs) Break me off a piece of that poison gas. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, mm, not as good. Not not as it's good. not even close to being as good. No, no, not. nothing. No, no, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. not bad by any stretch of the imagination. No, but, but it's not. What you call it? What you call it? I wouldn't be sad if someone handed me one of those. Right. No. Right. It's my favorite candy bar. The what you call it? That was your number one. No. My, oh, okay. No, no. My number two. All right. All right. All right, Larry. What up? Uh, what a uh, uh, Austrian or Bavarian or? Mm-mm. What's your number two? We are uh, staying in the Northeast, but uh, our good friends in uh, the Great White North. Oh, hey! See, so you got your can of do's and your can of don'ts. <laughs> Take off, eh? So we've got some uh, pure maple sugar candy. Yeah. In the uh, form of the classic maple leaf. Uh, just a little backstory. Ben Franklin promoted massive maple sh- sugar production in the Northeast to make the country less dependent upon foreign sugar. Oh. Production of maple syrup and sugar cakes in New England boomed. And products such as maple candy, maple beer, and maple wine became very popular. Uh, maple wine? <laughs> yeah. Huh. I think I'd either love that or just be disgusted uh, by it. I, I like, don't. I don't even like maple like I in my whiskey because I love. Maple. Oh really? I yeah, like maple and whiskey. Too way too sweet. Mm, just like a little drop, like a little. This hint is straight. Of it. Yeah. I don't want without even putting this in. This is straight sugar. This is just sugar. Straight this is like maple sugar. This is just, this. Is, you ever see when you put one of those giant cubes on a horse's fucking tongue? Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, this right God. here. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, it's like uh, sugary. Like it's grainy. It's oh, straight. it's literally no. just compressed yeah. sugar. It's just sugar with maple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's good, though. Where are the pancakes? This is really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So last last year, uh, we went to uh, Maine for vacation, and there was a uh, maple farm up there that also sold ice cream, and they sold these. It was like a maple waffle bowl with fresh made. They had their own trees, so they, they made fresh made soft maple ice cream. That they put hot maple syrup on Oof. and whipped cream, <clears throat> and it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever had in my life. It sounds awesome. I would have lived in that little shack <laughs> just eating that, just draining the hot maple syrup <laughs> into my face. <laughs> just could have lived there. Oh, Larry, funny. do you want to check your sugar? 
No reason to. <laughs> I know where it's at. Oh, yeah. I know it's too high. <laughs> I can feel my pulse in my eyeballs. Yeah, it will definitely break my machine right now. Ooh. Yeah, that is that is like. Hi, I'm that's sugar. Too much Fuck sugar you. for for me to take right that's now. That's another one. Larry, Larry's candies are all so far mostly all. Uh, how did Laura put it? Treats. The treats. Yeah, like you don't you don't sit there and eat if those came packaged like a Rolo. You wouldn't, you, wouldn't, <laughs> no. you wouldn't go to the movies and eat 10 of those. Cause you wouldn't you'd roll them to your pad. Not eating you, a whole box. No. And it's not even a large box either in comparison no. to the amount you of You put that on the kitchen plate. counter. You put that on a spoon and you put a, a flame underneath it. Yeah. That's how you <laughs> inject it right in. You just inject it right in, yeah. You yeah. see, sometimes you'll see like they sell like the large maple leaf candy by itself. And yeah. I'm just like... What are you going to do with that? Like, you can't eat that. Yeah. yeah. Like, this one is even too much. This small yeah. one. It's oh, like, yeah. But I love it, but it's just like, oh, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. My number two. Uh, my number two and number one are, are fluid, but I'm going to go with uh, with this for my number two. What are you giving us? Like, the fun dip without the stick? No. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the, the stick, stick only. <laughs> it's only the stick. <laughs> that flavorless <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I hate is it, that is it pixie sticks? No, no, no. This, this, <laughs> this is this is one. This is one. Oh, oh, I love wow. my fucking tamales. Wow. Okay, oh, come on. Please pass I down. Don't like hot things. You know he doesn't like sour or hot. These are not. These are not super hot. You can get the ones called. We're super killing hot. Larry here. Today yeah. is the kill Larry show. <laughs> uh, this is made by um. What's the company here? Hottamales.com. Uh, this is the same company that makes Mike and Ike's, which are also fucking awesome. Um, this is not Hershey's, by the way, unless they just bought this place out. Um, I don't see the name of the company. Just in here. born. Just born. Yeah. Just born. A great candy isn't made. It's just born. They do. You uh, gotta like cinnamon. A great like one. These. I love cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I yeah. love fucking cinnamon. There's a video of me on the internet eating a lot of cinnamon. <laughs> oh, you, did you do the challenge? Long time ago. All right, <laughs> Laura. What do you think of of a, a hot tamale? I like these. I like cinnamon. I like spice. Um, not a candy I can eat a lot of. Yeah. I but could dog a ball. I would be okay if I got ice cream and this was on top of it. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Larry spitting his out. <laughs> Too hot or not good flavor? Too hot. Okay. Good flavor. I like cinnamon. Mansur, yeah. what do you think? No, I like hot tamales, uh, but like Laura, I can't eat a lot. I can't I can eat a box of those. I can eat a box of those. Yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna eat a box but of I, this. I feel like these but I can have a couple. Off. Yeah. Like these would have that same similar effect. And these are not the they make ones that are actually really fucking hot. Mm. Yeah. That's really hot, John. What's that? That's really hot. Well, that's that's not really hot. hot. No, that's no. really fucking hot. Really? Yeah, to me. Okay. But you got to also take into context, like when I eat something spicy, like at the dinner table, Jen and Jalen both make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, that's not hot at all. I'm just like sweating. My wife is like that too. She calls things hot. And we're like, what are you talking about? I don't even, it's nothing. I'm very. Uh, I like hot foods. Yeah. You're sweating over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that made me hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Larry's getting punished over here. It's getting <laughs> hot in here. You guys with your fucking sour, hot shit. It was sour, hot candy. We're sour and hot, candy. and you're all sweet. Yep. All <laughs> <laughs> you're all marzipan, bitch. <laughs> all right, just Laura. A, just a roll of almond I'm dough. I'm just a roll of almond dough. <laughs> <laughs> sweet little Larry. <laughs> all right, Laura, what is your number one candy? Okay, so my number one candy... I think I just got upstaged by Lloyd, but I also picked the Whatchamacallit uh, for my number one. Awesome. You know what? this was my go-to candy bar when I was a child. And I think that's our first... Is that our first crossover? Crossover. That's impressive. I got two of them. Does anybody want more? I'm good. Uh, okay. yeah. I remember still have when we just two ate more them? for you. <laughs> Do you remember five <laughs> minutes ago when we just ate a quarter of these? If you forgot what they taste like, <laughs> we have two more. No, but I just, I remember going, there was a, a deli corner store right next to my house when I was little, and I'd always just go and buy that candy bar, and that's the only candy bar that I've ever gone to the store. Oh, to they're go. the best. I, yeah, I just, just really just love what and they're weird, and a lot of people don't know. Yeah, now that was, yeah, they're, that was a yeah. slice of nostalgia uh-huh. for yep. me. Yeah. I yeah. haven't had one yeah, in yeah. a when long you, time. No, I, I was know surprised they made that them. you picked one, too, because oh, I really yeah. thought I was the only one that liked them. I was no, surprised they still made them. I forgot all about them. It's my favorite candy bar, and the only reason it's not my number one is because I have Categories. I'm older. Do you want to know what my number else. one is? Uh, right. My number one is apples. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They're nature's candy. They, they're, they're delicious. Nice. They make this nice <laughs> spinach bar. <laughs> nature's candy. <laughs> <laughs> now, my number one, uh, I guess I'm showing my age here. I've already been upstaged. It's Werther's Original. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. So, oh. me and Laura, Laura has uh, two, and Laura two crossovers now. <laughs> and I'm not going to eat another one. Anybody else? Well, no. <laughs> i got to be honest, though. My number one is Larry's weird fucking mar- marzipan thing. Yeah. That, that's, <laughs> so. that's definitely on my list now. Yeah. <laughs> but Werther's yeah. Original, you know, 
I go back. I, I had all kinds of like butterscotch candies when I was a kid, and, and you know, reminds me of grandma's house. Always had them there. Uh, I love them. I take them out when my kids go out. See, my grandmother... You know, uh, I melt them in a cup of coffee. It's so good. If you like coffee, just take ooh, a Werther's, throw it in even, there. It melts up. That's mm. a good idea. That yeah, it's my, my grandmother, um, the Italian grandmother, she had the uh, the world's worst candy in like the living room in a big dish. It was... Remember that shit-ass ribbon, ribbon candy? Oh, yeah, ribbon. Oh, yeah. Ew. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that shit's right. terrible. Ribbon candy is the fucking worst. Ugh, it, 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 ribbon candy... Just brings out bad memories. Yep. Yeah. Like, and like I'm, a, like I'm not. Fruit, it makes people like angry. Fruit. It, yeah. <laughs> I see a ribbon candy. I see that white box of by Brax or whoever the fuck dares yeah, to make Brax. that shit. Yeah. And then you, you know, you lift the top off, and that has that weird paper. And then you just see that fucking bow of yeah. shit ribbon candy. Yeah. And you're like, who the fuck eats this? <laughs> Nobody. Who the actual fuck eats this? No. It's just pretty as all. Gross. Yeah, I don't even think it's that pretty. No, yeah. no, no. I'm just gonna go on the defensive. It's just yeah, like, yeah. Nothing good about ribbon there's candy. There's no redeeming qualities. All right, we're gonna finish up with me and Larry's number ones, and then we've got a bunch of friends of the pint yeah. uh, who gave theirs. So we have a bunch of lists to read off too. And there's some doozies in these. I hope there's some watch call it. There's some doozies in there. <laughs> yeah. So Larry, what's your numero uno? Yeah, I got a couple to read off later too. I got the kids and Jens. So my number one, <clears throat> you actually mentioned it earlier, as somebody else had mentioned it. But this is the best chocolate bar in the world, bar none. Bar it is, none? It is oh. the Cadbury Flake. Oh, oh Cadbury. Yeah, that, those are great. This is uh, only sold usually in Europe. Yeah. <laughs> the best chocolate bar in the world, only sold in Europe. We, we um, don't carry it here in America. <laughs> first developed in 1920 and discovered by chance by an employee of Cadbury's when he noticed thin streams of excess chocolate falling from the yes. molds that cooled into flaky ripples. Now eat over something, or it will. Yeah. Uh, By the way, Larry, just like mine. Sour Patch Kids was yeah. a subsidiary of Cadbury. Oh, look at this yeah, watch out for my dogs. Yeah, um, no, this is not the best candy bar in the yes, world. Yes, it is. Go fuck yourself. No, a watch him call it. Cadbury. Would, would, a watch him call it would hold this down mm-hmm. and dominate it in a fight. See, here's the problem. The problem with that theory is Cadbury's chocolate is the best chocolate in the world. It's. It's Tate. No, all this right. doesn't work for me at all. all right. It's good. It's fl- I like flaky chocolate the I way it melts really in your mouth, like it. but it doesn't have a great flavor. No, it does. No, <laughs> no, I like you're, the flavor. You're fucking I, wrong. I'm not saying it has a bad flavor. I'm just saying it's not great. Did you have to order it's this? Not online? as great as what you call it. You can't buy it. Mm. This is what you had to order online twice before. Yeah. Okay. I remember you saying one of my candies has to come from Europe. Yeah. All right. I like. It these, tastes a bit dry. And if you look at the side, it kind of looks like the Necronomicon. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is good. I'm not saying it's not good. It's okay. It's really good. No, it's no. okay. I would never... I would prefer watch McCall it to this. I would never go out of my way to buy this. I like I how it's different and it's interesting. gone out of my way to buy this countless times. <laughs> That's like a Butterfinger. I'm never buying a Butterfinger. Oh, I forgot nothing about Butterfingers. Like a Butterfinger. I do like No, 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 no. I mean, what I mean by it is Butterfinger to me is a candy like a Baby Ruth or a Three, three Musketeers or a Milky Way. I would never buy one of those. What? What's wrong with Butterfinger? Is it just like... It's a pain in the ass. They, they fall apart really easily. They do. Yeah. That's why you have to eat them like this. So it <laughs> well, just falls into your mouth. Like uh, well, I, what a, yeah, yeah, exactly, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know if I want to do that. Only if you do it in public, though. All right, where, Larry, where did you find this? Like, was this... Uh, was, like, you mean the first time I had yeah, it? Yeah, like, if it's, if it's a European thing, mostly, like, were you, uh, like, on I tour think they, or something? they or? mostly fell apart in the shipping. I had a, uh, yeah, I think I think it did. Yeah. I had an, a, a British co-worker. Yeah. Who brought it in for the first time, and I was just like, this is the best chocolate I've ever had. And I found in Newtown, there's a little specialty English shop. A little actually, specialty <laughs> shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little specialty shop <laughs> in Newtown where you can buy your Cadbury Flake. I and I walk that. in there, and he says, "Who can make the sunshine?" <laughs> it was Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> hey Larry there, Larry, Larry babe. <laughs> hey there, Larry Dwyer, babe. How's the, the how's the candy hate- man can? <laughs> what are you and those hate breed cats up to? <laughs> so yeah, ever since he uh, turned me on to them, I used to go get them up They're there, good. and now uh, now I just order them online when I need them. All right. I mean, I, I'm not down on it. There I'm finishing the whole entire bar. Yeah, of course you so are. It's, it's the first. It's the first one. Well, Larry, there's some in my shoe right now. Feel free uh, to finish my bar if you'd like. I think my wife might have said she liked that, so maybe I'll let her have that. I have extras. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Laura. So you, you, I like it. Would you purchase that? 
If I if wanted you, chocolate, yeah. if there was two candy bars left on the shelf and there was whatchamacallit and flake. Oh, whatchamacallit. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not. Like, You're not. It's fucking. not taking over my my number one. Right. But I'm I'm not hating on it either. I think it's good. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's not bad. I like that it's weird. Weird. It's, good it's consistency. Weird. I like that the, the chocolate was melty. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I mean, I don't mean from being hot. I mean, it, it kind of like dissolved nicely in the mouth. Yeah, because the, there's air between it. I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why. That's my yep. assumption. And it kind of looks like a turd. Like an animal turd, almost like the, the extruded. It's part. like when you make a ham sandwich, you don't want just flat, flat, flat layers of ham. You want you want the air in between. Them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you, you have fold, to fold them over. Them and you yeah, let, yes, exactly. It tastes better that way. So this candy bar is the equivalent. So it's like a ham sandwich. Well made ham sandwich. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is the ham sandwich. That's how they uh, Cadbury flake. The equivalent of what you Americans call a ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my number one. You guys kind of alluded before, uh, maybe it was Larry. Fun dip? No, someone was talking about, or maybe it was Lloyd, was talking about, yeah, it's the fun dip. <laughs> it's just the fun, it's dip, just the stick. fun dip stick. You bust out fun dip. My, my number one I'm is the fun dip. Fucking chair my number right one over. is the fun dip stick. That's it. Uh, I threw the fun dip powder out, I snorted it all, and then you guys get that fucking flavorless stick. No, um, Lloyd might have brought it up, Nutrageous, and the different Reese's um, candies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, m- this one, I think, used to be branded as Reese's. Um, came out about 15 years ago, and I fell in love with it. Kind of went away for a while. Came back branded. I think it's under Hershey's now. But if I'm going to buy a candy bar, if I'm in, like, a gas station or in one of those situations where you buy a candy bar, this is 90% of the time the thing I will get. Okay? It is called the Take 5. Oh, yeah. Take 5. From Reese's. Yep, yep. Uh, It's very much like the... Is that the one with the pretzels? Yes. Yeah. It's much like the peanut butter cup. It is a, a dual pack. Um, it is, uh, let's see, there's five items in it, uh, pretzels, caramel, peanut butter, peanuts, and chocolate. I thought you pulled out an index card to read that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he, he wrote it down on a special index I did. card. <laughs> I did. I think these came out initially under Hershey's name, and now they're under Reese's. They rebranded them. Uh, I love chocolate-covered pretzels. Yeah, no, these are great. These I, are fucking great. I love these, too. Mm. These are really good. I'm just... I think I'm gonna die you get, from you all get the sugar the, and yeah. chocolate. You in get my the body. split, the split candy bar. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's it, right? It's good. Larry, what do you think? I like it. It's good. You like chocolate covered pretzel or chocolate covered pretzel or no? Uh, I mean, I like the gag and mall rats. <laughs> right, but I mean, <laughs> chocolate covered pretzel. <laughs> like fucking, what do they call those flips? I love those fucking oh, things. Oh, flips are good, yeah. I can't have mm-hmm. a bag of flips around me because that will go down. Oh, yeah, I'll, eat actually, I'll sit down and eat a whole bag of that. Yeah. I actually prefer yogurt uh, pretzels. Mm. I like mm-hmm. yogurt, yogurt yeah. covered raisins. Those yes. are too, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. yeah. I'm just okay with this. I'm like, whatever. All right. It's my number one at all. Maybe oh. one. <laughs> well, remember, I had a number one. <laughs> I had a number one once. <laughs> that got shut and down. While I was but busy no, it's... cleaning up the floor so your dogs didn't eat the chocolate. Oh, wait, wait. You, your, you your number one was the whatchamacallit, right? That is delicious. The flake. Yeah, no. Oh, the flake. The one yeah, that I, heard I, the, I... I heard the besmirchment <laughs> as I was cleaning the chocolate off your floor. <laughs> Thank you for not killing my dogs. You're welcome. Um, no, I love Take Five. Um, it's the newest thing um, that's been... It's kind of like... One of the newer bars that have actually stayed around for a while. Think about it. Candy bars, it's just variations on the same shit over and over again. Mm-hmm. Reese's just comes out with different versions of Reese's. That's kind of what Taco Bell is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yep. We'll have like the spicy chicken taco and then they make a burrito out of it. And they'll call it a chicken spicy burrito. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Very good. All right, Larry, give us your kids and your wife's list and then I'll go through some of the other uh, folks out there. So I asked Jalen and Owen for five each. Um, they can't count, apparently. Jalen <laughs> gave me three, and Owen gave me four. <laughs> uh, Jalen said Hershey bars, which sounded to me kind of like an add-on, like she didn't know what else to say. Um, but she definitely likes Reese's Pieces, and she threw that in there. But her number one is uh, peanut butter cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Reese's peanut yep. butter cups. That's fair. Yeah, Owen, chocolate on my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Owen, I've got blisters on my fingers. <laughs> Owen also said Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but mm. I think mainly because Jalen said it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Cool. But he did also say Skittles, which I know he likes. Um, Taste the rainbow. Yeah. And then his two favorites, which are Sour Patch Kids and Sour Gummy Worms. Mm. Oh, Sour Gummy Worms. Are good. Yeah. Those, those are, are good. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Uh, Jennifer, my wife, uh, Peanut M&M's. Love those. Black yep. Jelly Beans. Fuck her. <laughs> right? Yeah. S- Snickers. 
Yep. The fuck likes a Snickers bar. Snickers are good. Snickers. Actually, I'm very surprised. They're Snickers pretty much, are very neutral, I find. They're kind of like a go-to, hey, I, I need to eat something. I'm really hungry. You've watched too many commercials. Yeah. yeah. That's, just <laughs> that's what I... The marketing If I'm at work and I don't have any food and there's a Snickers bar yeah. in the in the machine, that's what I get. All right. That would never if you're happy, me to do that. I would never get a candy bar and be like, I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah. Let me have a candy bar. If you're no, yelling at somebody anymore. and you look like Joe Pesci, you Have a Snickers. You ever see me when I'm hangry? Oh, he's a bitch when he's angry. <laughs> I, I mentioned, Seriously. I mentioned before Mr. Good Bar is one of her favorites. It's her, it's her favorite bar. And uh, her favorite candy overall is lemon heads. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did want to mention one that nobody brought up and is uh, the favorite of my friend Daryl Petway, who is a bass player in the band 2x4. Uh, and he likes these so much that he was in the hospital uh, during COVID and I sent him a case, whole fucking case to his hospital room. Uh, zero bars. Oh. Mm. Those Didn't, white chocolate things, yes. gross. Yeah, he fucking love. He will punch I, let me your tell face you. right off. Yeah, I'll take if it. He, <laughs> I'll, def- I'll defend. I'll uh, defend if he hears I'll you fight, say that. In I'll my fight research, you and him. I fight, tried fight. a lot of different bars, and yeah. Zero Bars was one, and yeah. Zagnut Bars, and none of them held up. Yeah, yeah. not from what I remembered. Yeah. Yeah. Daryl, Daryl, but Marathon Bars Daryl's. were good. Never even heard of that. Mar- I remember I, those were the twi- the braided uh, caramel covered with chocolate. Yeah, I. They were about like this long. I remember that. All right. Nobody nobody brought a Toblerone. Uh, no. I'm, I'm to- honestly, you know, I don't think I've ever never had a Toblerone. Oh, good. I've, I've had them. Yeah. It's shaped like a triangle, so it's yep. fucking weird. Yeah. But it's good. I, I thought you said it's shaped like a triangle, so you know it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's shaped like a triangle. You know, all the best things you are shaped like triangles. <laughs> Pizza. Laura, Pizza's look, a triangle. <laughs> yeah, Laura, look. Here, here's what I learned in life. Uh-huh. Food tra- shaped like triangles, Doritos, pizza. It's going to be fucking good. Oh, yeah. That okay. Is, that's true. Yeah. So Toblerone's oh, right okay. on the list. Uh, all right. Here, here's some of our friends uh, yeah. out there in, in Piney Comics land. Uh, Karen uh, Mercurio uh, from yeah. BoomTube Comics. BoomTube. Uh, she goes number five, Kit Kat. Mm-hmm. Number four, plain M&Ms. Number three, Hershey Bar with almonds. Like yes, we said. Very good. Yeah, with almonds. So with almonds. much better. Mm-hmm. So number good. two, Milky Way. No. 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 Just get a Snickers, no, Karen. No, just get a Snickers, yeah. And number one, she's the one that said strawberry flavored Charleston Chew. Uh, mm. My wife Lindsay, number five, Almond Joy. There you Wrong. go. No, um, no, no, no. Almond coconut. Joys are good. She's Almond Joys. No Sorry, right. Almond Joys are She's good. Right. She's number right. four. Uh, I think Laura said that she wasn't a fan of these before. Uh, I know my wife's a fan of these. Cadbury Cream, yeah. and then she put slash Scream because I guess they call them Cadbury Scream eggs at Halloween. Oh, that's cute. I like yeah, that. but they're the big egg. The, I just. It's just. Those. It's. I feel like the the filling has changed over the years too and it's gotten sweet. too sweet it's too, and it's yeah. too gross. Too much. It's not. You know what I'm surprised oh. I didn't put down Cadbury mini eggs. I mean, well, whatever. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. We'll get to that. Yeah. Uh, number three, uh, M and M's. Lindsay's number two, Cadbury mini eggs. Yeah. She put Easter specific. I don't know why. Because um, of the pastel colors. What the fuck does Ooh. that matter to the flavor? It though? Not a, it matters a lot. No, it doesn't. Does it really? Not. Flip color influences the way you enjoy something. Mm. It does. Wait a minute. I think she just tried to hypnotize me into believing something. <laughs> I could see your eyes spinning a little. Yeah. I saw John almost fall over. Did you know that a piece of pizza that's blue tastes better than a piece of pizza that looks like they should look? Well, holy shit. <laughs> and Lindsay's number one. Okay. Uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Chris Ramirez, buddy of ours who, uh, who goes to all the cult classic shows. Uh, number five, C's Bordeaux Bar. What the fuck? No clue. That's not even real. Hold on, he made hold that on, up. Really? C's Bordeaux. Did you, did you, you S-E-E. I know C's is, a, is an actual candy company in California because a woman I used to work with, she used to go to- Let's go ahead. Spell this thing. S-E-E apostrophe S Bordeaux. B-O-R-D-E-A-U-X bar. I'm not going to spell bar for you. Is there like wine in that or something? I don't know. But uh, his number four is Munson Sea Salt. Caramels. Oh, Munson's are good. Number three, Hershey's Special Dark. Good for you, Chris. You get it? Number two, again, incorrect, Milky Way. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's a Uh, C's Bordeaux. It looks like a violent crumble. It it looks like a fucking cake from here. I gotta gotta read. I gotta do some Number one. Is it honeycomb covered with chocolate? It's weird. Number one, Chris's uh, favorite is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gary, G.I. Gary, uh, Hershey Kiss. Oh, Twizzlers. Wow. Twizzlers are fucking good. Okay. Twizzlers are good. Twizzlers Butterfinger, are good. wrong. Uh, peanut M&Ms and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Uh, Holly Go Frightly. Uh, Clark Bar number five. Yeah. Brax Candy Corn. No. <laughs> Ch- um, I didn't know what this was, but my wife knew what this was. Chalky Butter Mints. Nope. I don't know. It's it, 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 I'll, I'll have Lindsay describe it after the show. Uh, and her number one. Larry, ready for Holly's number one? Fucking flake. Cadbury smart. flakes. Yeah. Or I'm sorry. Symphonies are number two. 
I don't know what that is. Symphony bar? Isn't that white Symphony chocolate? Bars, it's, no, they're I've all different kinds of chocolate. I don't okay. think they're, I think they're a Hershey product, but they're like a higher caliber okay. of chocolate. Cadbury Flake. Larry, did you get the uh, what that is? Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm not. I'm fucking reading about it, but it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> here's my here's my favorite list from John Amato, who's a who's a friend of the show, a listener, and uh, also a, a cult classics guy. He has literally the nightmare worst list of candies ever. John, oh, yeah. love you. Thank you for listening. But holy shit, your taste in candy is fucking suspect. <laughs> Number five, peppermint patty. Oh, God. I'll be the first to tell you this right now. Chocolate and mint do not fucking All right. mix. I like I like peppermint patties. I like, an Andy's I like junior junior mint. I like it when it's subtle, but peppermint patties are not no, subtle. That's, that's not, not subtle. subtle. Maybe a junior mint. That's not then. subtle. Number four, good and plenty. Oh, God. All right. No. We're in black licorice country. Get the fuck out. I like black licorice. Number three. <laughs> not on my list, though. This, this is like when, and when Jaws 2 came out and the poster said, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. With John, number three is just when you thought you were safe from good and plenties, he goes with circus peanuts. Oh, God. Th- th- that's just the absolute worst. No. Number two, candy corn. All yeah. right. Which okay. is which is pretty much just like what Larry gave us with the maple stuff, just pure sugar, you know. And then number one, because uh, apparently John was born in 1912, uh, Necco wafers. <laughs> Necco wafers, uh, are one of my mom's favorite candies. And, God bless him, but that's a suspect <laughs> list. Yeah. Uh, Robert Barron's Inc. Uh, I think this is probably Sal. Uh, number six, Jolly Rancher. Uh, I would like a flavor on there, Sal, but I get it. Jolly Ranchers are good. Number uh, number f- uh, four, uh, you're wrong again, Peppermint Patty. Uh, number three, Twix, good good choice. Number Very two, good choice. Kit Kat, good choice. And Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, good choice. And then let's go. I get one more here. All right, my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law, Robin, puts down All right. Butterfinger, <laughs> Dark Chocolate Giardelli, okay. um, sea, sea Salt Caramel, Mm-hmm. Uh, lint, okay, I, lint, sea salt, caramel, lint, dark chocolate, and mounds. Again, wrong answer. Anything with coconut, mounds. get no. the fuck no, out the of the coconut, coconut. Mounds and almond joy are great. I hate yeah. coconut. Mm-hmm. Almond joy is better. I like coconut. I hate it. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes most times you don't. You don't. <laughs> I prefer the almond joy. I think the almond has a nice... Is that all the... all the? That's everything. Yep. Well, I have one here that's on my honorable mentions, but I don't think anyone's going to like this honor. at all. No, I don't payday. Like payday. Oh, I love payday. Oh, if I fucking love payday. I don't love payday. I don't have anything against yeah. payday. We sell like we have a small at my work. We have a small candy. Uh, you know. Yeah, you don't like peanuts. No. We have a yeah. small candy rack, and payday is on it. Yeah. So I don't. I barely ever eat like candy, but once in a while I'll get a payday bar. Right. I have an honorable mention. Yeah. I do. I brought one with me, and this was. My favorite candy uh, growing up as a kid. Looks like a bag of beef jerky. No, it's a bag of Luden's cough drops. Oh, Luden's no. cough drops. Hell <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because we weren't allowed to have candy in All school. Right. Hell yeah. Luden's so and or Smith Brothers. Everybody in my goddamn class would always have a box. They remember, they were the box yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. of Luden's oh, yeah. Yeah, cherry cough like drop. Little white and the be cherry. Like, <clears throat> Teacher, we got a sore throat. Fucking bust a, a wild cherry. They Ricola was pretty good too, but not Ricola. not as good as Luden. They had more of a cough droppy taste yeah. to them. Is, yeah. Luden's is, is straight, straight up candy. candy. Yeah. Straight yeah. up, you know. Yeah. What, here's how you know Luden's is just straight up candy. A real cough drop is a fisherman's friend. You ever have one of those motherfuckers? Oh yeah, that yeah. that rewrites your yeah. DNA. Right? <laughs> a fucking Luden's is je- go try a fisherman's friend. Well, look, look at it's going to change my DNA. It's gross. It's it, fucking gross. Well, they have taken. It no longer says cough drop or anything Dietary on the Dietary supplement. <laughs> now it just says pectin lozenge. Uh, yeah. Pectin. Yeah, which pe- fruit lozenge. So that doesn't even say sore throat it's or It's literally cough. just hard candy. That's yeah. all it's ever been. It's the Jolly Rancher in a different but shape. But growing up, that was my shit because well, no, it was all we were allowed to. And Smith eat. Brothers. Because, you know, it's funny. I love the Luden's cherries, but the Smith Brother honey flavored ones, mm. those were pretty fucking good too. Absolutely, that's pretty good too. Nice. Mm. All right, Manster, where, where can everybody find Pino Comics? Uh, PinoComics.com. Uh, subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, check out the YouTube channel. Subscribe to that. On Facebook and Twitter, it's at Pino Comics. And on Instagram, it's at Pine underscore O underscore Comics. And I think I am in a sugar coma right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm feeling it too. Laura, Larry, thanks for celebrating 200 episodes of Pino Comics with us. Yay. Uh, this was a fun episode, uh, fun talking about all these candies. There's a fucking shit ton of candy on my table. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen with this, but yep. uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Lloyd, what are the words? See ya. It's over, Johnny. It's over. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off.